was that diff that I bought a while back. Uh, the uh, one with the calipers on it. And then I had did my front calipers and I got the rear ones in here. The rear drill and slotted ones with the pads and all that shit. So before I sell the truck, I plan on swapping the rear end and putting the calipers on it. Just because one, I need to get this out of the shop. It's kind of in the way. And it just give me something to do one weekend. As long as the gears in it look good, which so far, spinning around, it looks good. These look good. These gears have a little wear on them, but there's no like broken teeth or anything like that. Um, obviously it's a slip, limited slip dip. So on the one side, if I, when I spin that side, this one spins out. And then I believe on my div, the teeth on that one are messed up as well as some of these. I don't, I don't remember. It's been so long, but uh, there wasn't a whole lot of fluid in it. I know some leaked out. But uh, so I spray some brake cleaner in it and I'm gonna let it sit for a little while. And I plan on trying to swap it soon. So I'm replacing the spider gears in this axle. So I have to take out that eight millimeter bolt that held this, uh, I'm gonna call it a carrier. That holds all the spider gears together. Take the brake rotors off, that way I can push the axle in and out. When I push the axle in, it pushes the axle enough so I can be able to get this little, that little pin in there or a little clip it's basically just a u-clip so i'm gonna get like a little magnetic thing or something so i can be able to grab it i gotta do the same thing from the other side and when i do that i should be able to take all of those spider gears off i'm really doing this right now so i can check how many splines i got on the axles i believe it's a 30 spline but you gotta double check just because i think there's a 30 and a 32 spline i'm gonna make sure i get the right ones so i was able to spin get these spider gears out these aren't in the best shape. They no broken teeth or anything. I just want to make sure I can drive the truck and be able to rely on it for a little while. As well as I'm be selling the truck shortly. So, and I, I got that fucking little magnet thing right here. Oh, that was a lot easier than I thought. As you can see, let's pull that little washer. It's really just a little C-clip. I don't know if the new set of gears comes with it. I should be able to take this one off. Yeah. As you can see, just gotta slide the axle out. This one is actually the one that's in the best shape. Uh, I'm gonna count them out splines, and that's what I'm really looking for here. All right, it should be a 30. Do the same thing on that side, and then I'm gonna order the new spider gears for it. All these gears are good, so I'm not worried about that. It should be 373s, which is the same thing that I have in my truck, which is what my truck came with from the factory. Got the fucking axles pulled out. About to do the seals, hopefully. New spider gears are going to go in after that. Uh, Drew Slime. Um, just trying to figure out if we got something to be able to pull and press in the new axle seals uh, before we do it. Figured I'd change them just to make sure these aren't in the best condition. But uh, we'll change them seals, put the axles back in, put the two outer spider gears in, and then put the little clips. Them, uh, the two outer or bigger spider gears got to have that little flat washer on it, like that. And then the inner ones go, then that pin, then that. So, uh, break the little. Uh, end of the thing off just hit it with a screwdriver and a hammer and then i use my uh little special tool special 2019 polaris general axle cup front inner cup. front inner cup and then put it like that and tap it in once you kind of get it seated so it gets all the way put the axles in put them bigger spider gears in and the little clips they got them little shims wash spacers whatever you gotta make sure you put those on and then make sure the axle goes through it. So I got them on both sides. For this, for these small ones, they don't, they're the same thing. They top or bottom, it doesn't really matter. And then uh, you got this little shim washer spacer thing, whatever. It's beveled, so it, don't have to, it only goes that way. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just put it on the top 
some type of way to where it will catch and then put the other one on the bottom. And then as I'm trying to put them together, Drew will spin one of these so it'll catch and it'll catch that and it'll slip in. I think I think that'll work. Drew, explain, explain to these young folk. I don't know how to explain it. Y'all just got to figure it out just, on your own like I just did. Do the but, top, uh, do the top kind of sort of, do the bottom a little bit and bro, this bolt. Do it a little bit at a time. <laughs> Drew Slime is removing drive shaft. Shocks are undone. This I broke it loose already. Drive shaft bolts. Brake fluid is fucking dripping everywhere. Andre has a, a Andre, catalytic converter. Andre got his cat. Andre is fucking covered in pussy right now. <laughs> Absolutely devoured in pussy. My goodness gracious, we are fucking rolling now a little bit. Taking our time, and there's no rush. Break, oh, we need to, do we need to undo that first? Yeah, well, yeah. undo all that first. You both, yeah, yeah. And then we're gonna undo that to where we're gonna lose as much brake fluid. Gotcha. And then when we put the other one in, that's the first thing we can connect to where we don't lose much fluid. This is why I wanted to do this. Fucking sparkly. Holy fuck. It's a little sparkly. My goodness. <laughs> nah, that's my skin. This is glittery. Oh, I forgot you went to that gay uh, thing the other day. <laughs> All them teeth is fucked. Oh my. All them teeth are fucked. <laughs> Hey, that top one is every tooth is fucked. Turn it. It's gonna spin. Oh, well. Dude, the bottom ones are flat. Oh, yours got a different shit. That would have been the bitch to put in. That's. Yep, good thing oh we changed this. Oh my god, this. I see it. Lord. That is why, folks. That is why. Just need spotter gears, to be honest. That wasn't that bad to take out, to be honest with you. Hardest part is done. So come to find out, actually. Oh, Lord. What is this called, Drew? Yoke? This is no. the wrong rear end. The rear end is, is, is blown it's up. The wrong rear end. We blew, it blew up. But this is too small for the U joint, so we're going to swap it. I think it'll be straight. Swapped it from the old rear end, or, well old rear end to the new old <coughs> rear end. My guess is it's maybe like a two-wheel drive or something. Drew said it might be the wrong gears. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> Still got a, uh, what's left? Bleed, <laughs> bleed, put oil in it, bleed, bleed the, the brakes, brakes and put all in it. That's about it? That's where we gotta put all. Gotta so. cut the studs. Yeah, we gotta cut the studs. Look, Fuck. let me get that screwdriver for you. You got it, Drew. I believe in you. So what you could do is you could come out here loosen the ble bleeder screw. <laughs> Took it down the road. Successful rear end install at the moment. Uh, everything, I guess, is good. <laughs> it didn't fall off. Okay. It didn't fall off. It didn't. It drove forward. It drove reverse. It drove good. Brakes stopped good. So we bled them good. Um. I don't know. Ain't too much else we could do. I'm gonna double check my U-bolts and all that in like a couple of days. Drive it around a little bit, double check out my, most of the hardware in the rear, but it should be all good. I mean, it really wasn't that hard. Hardest part was getting them spider gears and shit, to be honest. The rest is just labor intensive. <laughs>